Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to come and do a very quick video on the way that I sew my hair in. Um, in this video, I'll be showing you my technique of how I do it myself, as well as how I get this silky, seamless sewing um, that lasts for at least a month. Make sure you continue and watch to be able to see the whole entire method that I use. Love you guys. So this is just me showing you guys the leave out that I part um, for my hair, for my sewing. As you can see, it's a nice amount. So this is my braid pattern. As you can see, it's a nice basically straight down and straight back. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew my braids like this for each side. So I'll come back once I'm done doing that, but I just wanted to show you guys the braid pattern I use. And as you can see, they're not too big, not too small. They're like the perfect size. And I did leave a little bit of my edges out. All right. All right, and this is just the braids after I sewed them up, and I just sewed them up to the actual um, cornrow. And my hair is kind of long, so I do sew them um, to the next braid as well, just to make sure that uh, all of the braids are basically up and sewed up. And now I'm just putting my first track in. Um, I do use the under sew method, and basically what that is is you lay the track on the bottom row of the braid and you sew underneath the track i do not go in between the track at all um, to prevent shutting i always go under and um, just continue each braid going under you'll see in this video so continue to watch Alright, so here as you can see, progress is getting made. I literally just sew from side to side, flipping the track. I do not cut the tracks um, because I do, the hair that I have is very good quality. So I do reuse the, the track, so I do not cut. Here I'm just showing you how I flip. So make sure you continue to watch so you can get the understanding of this method.
all right so i actually closed my um my sewing off camera because it's so much easier for me to do it in the bathroom here the method i use is basically the invisible part but i do it with my actual hair if that makes sense i'll make a video showing you guys that technique um i just have to figure out how i'm gonna record it with me actually having to do it in the mirror but i'll make you guys that video but it basically just shows how the hair how i was able to get the hair to sew hair and all it is is you just part your real hair and put a track part your real hair put a track part your real hair put a track that's it that's that's the all you know that's all it is it's nothing major so now i'm going to press it out just have um this i actually got in a spoke clean don't look at the sticker i got this from Sally's for like three bucks it was on clearance for three dollars and sixty nine cents so but use whatever you have so i just pour a little bit in my hand and get it as much through as possible i also like to use heat, heat protectant because you always want to protect um, your hair so you want to protect your weave just like you would your regular hair this you know the trust I made this is just what I had laying around so this is the heat protectant I'm gonna use today this is the trust I made um, I'm talking about trust me. Garnier. This is the Garnier Fruitiste Flat Iron Spray. This is just what I had, you know, laying around. If you have any type of heat protectant, just use it. It's the purpose to just be able to protect your hair as the heat goes on it. So it doesn't have to be this specific one. This is just what I had laying around. Um, I'm gonna get my comb. And actually, I flat iron in sections. If I was in a mirror, I would actually flat iron per track. But I'm not going to do that because it's going to be a little hard to do it right now on camera. So, and you know what? I'll start with this one. So, I'm going to section this part off. You can hold this part up like this. And I'm going to begin... Normally what I do is I'll take a section in the back if I'm flat ironing like this. I like to actually flat iron by track, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to flat iron like this. So I grab um, not too much. I want enough, just enough, um, so that when a flat iron hits it, it, you know, it flat irons very nicely. It straightens very nicely. So, and then I always put a comb before the flat iron to help get any tangles out before the flat iron hits the actual hair pieces. So, and these are um, ion flat irons. I've had these flat irons for probably like six years. I got them from Stylist years and years ago, but they flat iron like a beast. Okay. They flat iron like a beast and they as you can see, they are like old and raggedy, but I love them. I wouldn't trade them in for the world. And so my top one, I always like to make sure that that is the flattest. It's the flattest. So what I normally do, and you can tell the difference, right? You go this side versus this side. So what I normally do is I'll take the very... This is like bothering me. This is like part. 
Okay, um, so, um, and then I'll show you what I was talking about. So, I normally take the very last track in my hair. And what I do is, I go right underneath the track in my hair, the very last one. I go all the way up and then come down to get that as smooth as possible. So, now my phone is dying. Of course. So, I do the same thing for up here. Get the very last all right and now we're all done i'm just right now putting a little bit of oil i'm going back in with a little bit of that oil that i used prior to flat ironing um, and i'm just filling it through the hair basically rubbing it all throughout the hair this helps um with the shine of the hair it also helps it um stay together a little bit more i love to look after um, I do this and now I'm just showing you guys how it looks um, once it's all done as you can see it is very seamless um, it looks very straight it's nice this is definitely their Saturday night middle part here okay get your life here um, but I just wanted to come and make a video showing you guys how I sew my hair in I normally do um, my own hairstyle so anything you see me wear I've done so I will be coming with more of these type of videos make sure you like comment and subscribe don't be scared to reach out to me on social media I do follow back and let's share love thank you guys have a good one